Rest in peace and love, dear brothers and sisters. This is your sister, Reverend Melissa, and I just wanted to come and chat with you today and share a bit of light with you, if you will. <laughs> oh, don't you just love my view? <laughs> Look at all of that beautiful light. Light for your body, for your mind, and for your spirit. Now, I hope that you all have been watching my most recent videos because there are important messages that are con contained in them all for you. First of all, atomic energy, bad for all life upon the earth. Have to say no to atomic energy. And also, brothers and sisters, whether you want to believe that the hollow earth theory is true or not, a few recent videos ha are, have been and are being made to illustrate to you that you yourselves can go on, to, that you can download Google Earth, you can go there yourself, and you can explore both the pole openings for yourselves to see that the earth, that there are two huge openings at the North Pole and at the South Pole that you can explore for yourselves. You yourselves will see that the Earth is hollow. Okay? <laughs> it is an unfathomable theory to comprehend. But it's true. So you can't just be a naysayer and say, no, it's not true without providing backup for your opinion because it's, that's just that's just ignorant so you who are the naysayers who are out there making fun of they that believe in the hollow earth theory you are truly the ones that are dumber than dumb because you are creating these fancy flashy videos you know with handsome young men or beautiful young women so you are stimulating the visual eye and yet you have no no data to back up what you are speaking against how this is how society has been negatively socially engineered for decades it's easy for us to just watch a message shown to us on a tube and then we be take up arms about it. Well, it's time for us to all become more discerning in what we choose to take up arms against. Because that which we've been fighting, we have been heirs in our, in our goals the the tasks, the wars that we thought were valiant pursuits turn out to not be so. A perfect example, well, not a perfect example, but um, everyone, just be mindful of the media, all of the media. When you do your research and learn that only six corporations own 96% of the media of the world, the outer world, then that means that <laughs> everything that we hear, everything that we see has been purposely engineered to place a negative thought, to cause a negative reaction, to stimulate the society, to make us desire a product realize <laughs> as <laughs> realize that magic is being used against you okay do you really think that this dark energy this dark matter technologies that are being created right now that they have no impact upon you think again okay nanotechnology there is so much that is being used against us. 
they are tweaking every image and to and, and to imagine that what we hear has back tracking has tracks laid in the laid behind it every video everything that we see has something laid beneath it then isn't it time for us to say hell to the no okay I'm sorry but I am governing what I see what I read what I hear okay and then also do the same about your food realize that blood you are not to consume blood okay the blood of no animal you are not to consume it whether you believe me or not realize that blood has been placed in all of your food all of these products in the grocery stores that contain natural flavorings okay it's been there You've been negatively socially engineered, okay? You've heard the term bloodthirsty, okay? What do you think when you put when you put blood in your food, okay? Yes, they disguise it with seasonings, with spices, okay? So that you don't realize truly what you're eating. And then also, I, I watched the most hideous video not too long ago, it was um, a Dr. Griff. He was um, telling, he was revealing about the true um, nature of hip hop music in the hip hop society. And in it, he also revealed about rituals. And he showed over in Asia how a part of Asia, I don't know if it was China or Korea. But there was an Asian company that actually had a black man on a table that they had severed. And they were cutting him up as though he was a cow for to be cooked, to be eaten. And then an alarm went off in my head. Dear brothers and sisters, all of these foods that are being prepared abroad that contain meat. Do you not realize and suspect that possibly that you could be eating human meat? That you could be eating a, a most vile and abominable substance and you have no way of knowing its true origins. And you feed this to your children and then also regarding all of these thousands, millions of dogs and cats, animals, euthanized. And then we learn and discover, what do you think happens to all of those animals who are euthanized, their bodies? Do you think that they're just thrown into incinerators and burned? No. They're in your soaps. They're in all of these products that we think that smells so good and that are so good for us in in every product that is on the market today it contains that of a dead dog or a dead cat or a dead cow or a dead pig or a dead horse it's in your food it's everywhere and then to think also that when we go to the grocery stores and we buy cat food and dog food for our animals that we turn them into cannibals because these companies that own the large companies that make all of this dog food they're turning around and feeding the animals themselves feeding dogs dog meat come on Where are the rainbow warriors? Whether you're male or female, young or old, it's time to buck up. It's time for us to fight back. Reclaim our humanity. Reclaim our planet. 
So what if some of us will fail? That doesn't mean all of us will. During ancient times, there were the Crusades, and valiant men fought. The knights came together for a cause, and that cause was was a false one because the knights didn't realize that they were being falsely used at the time. But we have a true need today. We need true knights, true rainbow warriors who love, who care about our planet, who care about life, humanity, who can show that man is not a barbarian who is restricted to living only on the outer skirts of our planet without even realizing and knowing that the true civilization and culture of the earth exists on the inside of it. <laughs> what an irony. What an irony. And then also, next time you hear about eugenics and about how the earth is overpopulated and that the population needs to be reduced, that's a lie. Because when you look at, at images and videos showing our planet, you will discover that, that more than half of our planet is uninhabited. So we don't know what the hell we share our planet with. So wake up. Stop stop just just believing everything that you're told on the tube. And then also we sit and we watch the evening news or we read online or we read in the post about a million birds fell out of the air. A million fish um were dead upon the shore. Millions of animals have died around the world. By chance, those those news stories, those news, those companies that reported those stories, do you know how long it would take to count a million, to count one million animals, one million dead animals? You know how long it would count, it, it would take to count even 500 dead animals? let alone a million animals, let alone one, two, three million animals, we're being lied to. You're being tweaked. Okay? Do you think you can count a million animals in one hour or two hours? No. Okay? So with that said, in wisdom, peace, and love, you know, hey, stand strong. Fight the good fight. We're not alone. Remember that they that are upon this earth, be they seen or unseen, they have no power over the universe nor the eternities. So when so so realize that they're just waiting for us to take a stand. Okay? Because they gotta they have our back. But we have to take a stand first. Okay? So with that said, have a beautiful day or evening, depending upon what part of the earth you're in. We love you. And take care. Peace be with you all. Bye.